be for the fact that the fence has to be structurally sound. So whatever type of fence Mr. Stewart says you're allowed to have, as long as that fence is, if, if it's made out of pallets, if it's chain link or whatever, as long as that fence is structurally sound, you're in compliance. Mm -hmm. So it, it, was, it was essentially the fact that you had a chain link fence in combination with that, that, oh, that that's not a structurally sound fence. I see what you're saying. And that, so and on, that's, on the one side, okay, so but the on, just on the one side, right. you mean? Right. You, okay, you there, have, you, there is a, there, we would put a, a chain link gate. Yeah, you have a gate there now, which, yes. which, which yes. is in yes. compliance, because that's structurally sound with the, with the rest of the gate. Okay. So if the other portion, if Mr. Stewart deems the other portion structurally sound, you then would be in compliance. Oh, okay. Okay. It's starting to appear that it, had you responded to Officer Jewett's citation with the request to call him, you may have been able to avoid all this by finding out from Officer Jewett that you needed to discuss this with somebody in the zoning department to make sure before you spent more time and effort to try to rectify the problem, you did something yeah, that was going to be even classified. It. He didn't see the. No, I didn't see the citation. He told me we had one, or other, and. I guess he didn't see the number, so. Okay. Anything else you'd like to present this evening? What's Anything else you would like to present this evening? No, sir. I, I would just like to add that the picture representing the left side gate here, it's taken from an angle of the neighbor's house where it's straight on. Um, it doesn't look as bad as that picture. Could you share that picture? Sure. Yes. Also, you said <laughs> there's a new yeah, there's a new, if you <coughs> toggle through, you'll see. So that's the left side, and that's like from a street. Do I show this to him? Yeah. Sure. So one of them has been replaced. Yeah, okay, yeah. So this is, yeah. I mean, I know what you're saying about pallet boards, that sometimes they have the extra spaces right. there, but maybe I mean, we could fix that oh, yeah and like fill like in that the spaces yeah. that's it would you like to see this what we're doing is looking at her picture oh so that's the door which was the this actually the here they took picture. a here's a bigger picture of it they took too that's oh, okay but so from the street is, you don't see quite as much that's the left side or the other side, this picture that we received here of the wooden pallet, has, that has been replaced by that chain link, apparently. And then this is the other side, which is that. Based on those pictures, it looks, it looks to me like it's, again, a, a situation and they need to discuss that with Mr. Stewart to make sure that it satisfies the ordinance. And replace maybe those couple little boards like you saw <coughs> about, and yeah, yeah. What'd you say? replace the, the boards that are, or just add maybe boards to it. The the gaps the what you're right, saying. yeah, maybe. Oh, I mean, it's been with Mr. Stewart oh, said. Ones, yeah. Oh, okay. Any of the members have any questions? I suspect it. From a structure standpoint, it's not just the gaps, but rather you, you had commented that the original fence uh, broke because yeah, kids, change, yeah, kids jumping over it or something like that. Shot. I just tore it down. Right. So there was a certain, there, there's, there's probably a certain, and I don't have any idea, level of structure and structural integrity that uh, has to be maintained. Um, it's not just a matter of <coughs> gaps between the boards and the uh, chain link fence. You're talking about continuity then. R right, right. So okay. I, I don't know. I'm not a structural engineer or anything like that. But I, I would think somebody uh, would have to be able to prove that it's structurally sound, at least to the level of any, any kind of, uh, of the existing fence that was there you know, previously. Any more questions from the members? 
Okay, I'll clear, declare the hearing over. And David, you want to explain the, the options that the well, the code enforcement board has? Yeah, the, the first motion that we would need is, is first, it does the fence constitute violating the sections of the of the ordinance that that was that's in your packet and I sent out to you. Are we d distinguish between the right side and the left side because because oh, the right side's been fixed. So oh yeah, uh, so right. I mean right right now so we'll just, if if the, we'll do the if, right side. if the right side is what you're saying has been chain link right sure the fence, well yeah, the gate and you have to understand on. what we're talking about here is what the date the citation was issued right, right. was right. for both they in violation of the regulation right oh you mean when it was issued yes there's there's other parts that's going to come from behind this this doesn't have anything to do with the a a, a, a fine or anything right this is was was the the citation that was issued by Mr. or the two citations that were issued by Mr. Jewett? Uh, were they are they in violation? Are are they are the citations accurate? So, Mr. Jewett, then for the right side, you're saying that that was in violation because the, the chain link fences were next to it, and so it should have been a chain link fence as well. Right. It, it it's it's got to be. The same the, as the, the other part of the right, fencing. Right. Okay. Just looking at the the shorter, what I perceive as the door, uh, the single pallet, it it it's difficult to tell, but it some it somewhat looks like it's wire tied to the fence. Is that what you observe? Officer? That's what, that's what it appeared, yes. It was wire tied to the fence. How long was that? How long was that up there? That you said you put it up there so the dogs can get out? Right. Yes, ma'am. So the dogs can get out. How long had it been up there? Okay. I, I'm no expert, again, uh, but I wouldn't think that wire tying a pallet to a fence would be structurally sound. Uh, yeah, and I think it was, was it meant to be a temporary fix? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the main thing. That's, that's why I wanted to come, because I had no idea. You know, can I put three four by fours in the ground and put a couple posts across and then put chicken wire behind it to keep them at, you know, I just Oh, because you have little know. dogs. Yeah. Okay. Yes, 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 yes little dogs. I mean, if it wasn't for the animals, they wouldn't be there. So it's so I mean, we just did. I mean, it's, it did cost. We had to, you know, we got the gate fixed and everything. But and he's on, he's he's retired, and we're on a fixed income. So yeah, I just don't have to put a chain leak. Get that. That ain't gonna happen. You know. So I just. I mean, if we have to tear it down, we tear it down. But I just don't know what to do. That was the main reason for coming here, so I could find out something. So, I mean, in my opinion, the right side was not in compliance with the ordinance. I think, am I saying that correctly? Because they didn't have the continuity of the link fence. But the left side, I don't see that as any violation. I don't see that side as a violation of the ordinance. Well, what we're trying to get acted on initially, not anything to do with the fine or anything to that point, right. is upholding the, 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 the violation that Officer Jewett issued, whether it was valid or not, if it, if it was a correct violation, then we need to make that decision. Okay. Do we vote and on then that? We talk, then we can talk about the ramifications. Of <clears throat> yeah. okay. Somebody so needs I'll, to make I'll, a motion. I'll make a motion okay. that the citation was That we are, uh, uphold, the, uphold the citation? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Linda's indicated a motion to a second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor indicate aye. 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 Opposed? That's taken care of. Now, what's the next step, David? Now, that, now we also then need to do for Mrs. the same for Mrs. Cheese. Oh. oh, okay. okay. We need to do it twice. Yes. Okay. Can I have a motion to, for the second time? I'll motion. Okay. Can I second to that, too? 
My motion is second, but the same too. Any discussion on that one? Hearing none, all, all indicate by aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion carries, David. All right, now, the, now this is the part of the fine. If you can, you've got complete latitude. If you, you can find, set a fine for them anywhere from zero dollars to five hundred dollars. You can put a fine on, but then say they don't have to pay it if the fence is fixed within X amount of days. It's your all's choice of how you want to do that. Okay, I'll, I'll make them. Do we want to do we want to discuss that? I kind of feel like the right side's already fixed, and the left side isn't really, in my opinion, isn't really a violation, particularly as far as when you can see it from the street. I mean, it may not be the best looking fence, but and they've, um, I don't see that as a violation anyway. But I also feel like that we have these laws, these ordinances, just to keep the city looking nice. So I'm opposed to finding them anything. I'm not sure if this applies to so you not. You made the motion the first that that uh, zero fine. Well, unless he want you want to say something first before yeah, we I make just, that motion. Yeah, like a little further discussion because I'm okay. looking at prohibition 104.02 a, mm -hmm. and it says any condition or use of any lot or parcel of real estate well, you all can read it that is detrimental to the value. So I'm what I'm questioning for the group is. Is it strictly structure or is it also value and, and whoever called it in, uh, uh, the complaint in in the first place was complaining not necessarily or maybe not just for structural integrity but rather detrimental value. Maybe they want to sell their house and their mm -hmm. concern is that it makes it more difficult for them to sell their house. I don't know. I just thought I'd bring it up for a point of discussion. Well, I would think that could be the case, but I'm, I'm, I don't know which side they called about. Um, the right side looked worse, obviously, with this piece of wood in between the link fences, and that has been fixed. Um, the neighbor on the left side, I talked to her when I was over there today, and she saw nothing wrong with that. So she's right next to it, and she's only going to see it from that vantage point, whereas there's a bush in front of it that hides it really from the street. You say the left side, you're talking about with the, the horizontal and the vertical? Yes, okay. and that's really hidden from the street by a bush and garbage cans. Got it. Which are stored on the side of the house, which is perfectly legal. Okay, thank you. Well, as chairman, I don't make motions, but I'll suggest to you that uh, we've had similar situations in past years, and based on what I hear from discussion on for three members, I think that they want to uphold the violation which they've already agreed to. I think that normally they have elected, if they want to be sympathetic to the situation, that they've uh, offered a fine, but then they've offered a period of time to waive that fine in the event that they can get with the zoning administrator and the, and the, and the uh, officer Jewett and satisfy their concerns. And then the, 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 the violation is waived. Now, if you don't have any fine, then it will go on again and it will kind of keep coming back until you finally get to the point where somebody has to react to the issue. Okay. Um, and the left side, you, you're willing to work with Mr. Stewart to find out what's allowed, what's not allowed, yeah, if you can paint it, which mm -hmm. looks very pretty, um, whether you have to put more planks there to fill in those spots, because I thought it looked nice except for the spacing. Um, we need more than seven days, though. Right, maybe 30 oh, sure. days um, a month to at least meet with him. To um, at least meet with him. Okay, yeah, because yeah, because we're going to be out of town for a week, and my brother's mm -hmm. got some problems we're helping mm -hmm. him with. And I mean, I would be satisfied that that's showing a good faith effort that you're going to meet with him within 30 days and discuss the specifics of it. I mean, the part that to me looked worse has already been fixed. Um, and like I said, this part isn't really that visible to anybody except for the neighbor right next door who has a doesn't have problems. It's not that visible. So I don't have any problem with that. I have 30 days to work Mr. with him. Mr. Jewett's done a very 
nasty fellow. Eh? If you're making progress, <laughs> you got down to 31 days or 32 days, I don't think we're going to have an issue. We're, we need to set, set an established time. We will we need, certainly we need work. to figure out what kind of what kind of fine you want to establish if they don't do it. If, so if they don't meet with Mr. Stewart within 30 days, then they are fined $10. So you all decide what kind of motion you want to make. I'll, I'll Diane make, made a motion I'll make earlier. That, I'll make that motion. How many dollars you put associated $10. with it? Ten dollars. Ten. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. So you're making the motion that that, that the fine is ten dollars. If. Provided they meet with Mr. Stewart. If they don't meet with Mr. Stewart. If they don't meet with Mr. Stewart. Okay. Within thirty days. If they meet with Mr. Stewart in in the thirty days and they get this problem rectified. The fine goes away. Yes, okay. and they get more than I mean, if they meet with them in 30 days. Give them 60 days to fix the problem. Okay, okay. so we'll say 30 days, Is that good? Mr. Stewart. Yeah. 60, 60 days, days to, to fix. Problem. Do I have a second to that? I second that. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in, all in favor, indicate by aye. 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 Like sign. Motion carries for one. We have to do it twice, We right? have to do it twice. You want to repeat oh, yeah. that, Linda? This is for Mrs. Cheeseman. I, that that um, they meet with Mr. Stewart within 30 days and fix the problem based on what he says within 60 days. And um, if not, there's a $10 fine. Okay. Is there a second again? Okay. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor indicate by aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Is there another step? That's it. That's it. Do you have Mr. Stewart's phone number? No, no, I, was, yeah, I was going to ask for that. Yeah. I'm going to give you a card here and I'm going to put his phone number on the back of it. You could give this to Mr. That's Mark Stewart's his name and his phone number is on the back of my card there. So thank you all for coming. Thank you. All right, the next item we have is unfinished business other than the hearings. Do you have any, David? No, sir. Any announcements? No, sir. Anybody want to move to adjourn? Yes. All right, anybody have anything they want to bring up this evening? Okay. Motion is to adjourn. Motion. We have a motion. Second. Motion is second to adjourn. All in favor, indicate by aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries.